sorting out life is a very satisfying endeavor for me. Some people do Sudoku to keep themselves occupied. I like to piece together the history of life on the planet. I'm from Guelph, Ontario. Born and raised. I did uh, my undergrad and all my graduate school there. I uh, did a degree in wildlife biology and ended up running into a great professor called Steve Marshall. And he runs the insect collection and teaches entomology at the University of Guelph. And he just kept handing me these fascinating projects to work on. I actually didn't like bugs at all for the longest time. I was forced to take a course in my undergraduate uh, curriculum just to get my degree. And I resented it before and I am so glad that I had to do it. Um, I'm a big fan of diversity. I've been here for almost a couple of years now. So it'll be two years this November. I am the collections manager so I maintain and care for uh, the Canadian National Collection of insects, arachnids, and nematodes. So I make sure the collection is kept in good health. I make sure that research is facilitated. I do purchasing, make sure that uh, the collection is kept safe and utilized properly. So people, not just the researchers here, but people all over the world are users of the collection. So we make sure that they have access to our material. Uh, so we ship out loans constantly. There's visitors who come in that use our collection regularly and we also work with other government agencies uh, such as a Canadian Food Inspection Agency. Another very important thing that we do here is we monitor for invasives um, because you just have to throw out a few names like you know the emerald ash borer or the Asian longhorn beetle, the swede midge or the, the Asian multicolored lady beetle. These are invasives that came in and are really doing a number on our, on our native species and our environment. And for some of these, like the emerald ash borer, it costs millions of dollars just to control its populations every year. So we want to make sure that we find these before they show up. And it's uh, relatively straightforward, simple to do. And I like to see it as the ounce of prevention versus the pound of cure. It's very satisfying to work on, to, well again, to, to find out about a group of living organisms and to take that information and present it to the world, you know, say, here's something new that I discovered. There's a lot of personal satisfaction that I get out of it. And of course, it's also very relevant too. There's, even just for the, the groups that we need to know about, there really aren't enough scientists to go around. So we, we have to be experts on a bunch of different groups. Uh, it can be very stimulating, very tiring, uh, but in the end very rewarding. I'm finding things that are flying outside right now, out here in Ottawa, that do not have names on them. So what I'm trying to do is figure out what they are, where they occur, and what their relevance to us is.